We're all familiar with the age-old rallying cry, the show must go on. But that phrase took on new meaning when Diana Ross ascended the stage in New York's Central Park on July 21st, 1983, before a live audience of nearly one million people. Minutes into her historic concert, lightning streaked across the sky, the heavens opened up, and Miss Ross found herself singing in a blinding rainstorm. Given the threat of electrocution, it would have been easy for her to stop the show. Some even urged it. But she wasn't about to disappoint her devoted fans. For Diana Ross, this was one show that had to go on. If you need me, just call my name. I'll be there in a hurry. On that you can depend and never worry. It was one of the most exciting uh, events in my career because I had, I make these intentions that I wanted to perform for the largest amount of people at one gathering, and the only place I ever thought we could do that was in Central Park in New York. When I got there in the afternoon, it didn't seem as if it was going to rain. And within the first three songs, the sky went totally black, and we were caught in this amazing rainstorm. It's all right. We're going to get wet. That's okay. I'm here. Feels good, actually. When the skies did open up, we went from being a concert in Central Park to an international news event. It was just a phenomenal experience. I think Diana, you know, went to a whole new level of not only human being, but performer, where she just rose to the occasion. Sing with me! Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Make this world a better place if you can. Reach out. It had never dawned on me that for it to become the kind of an event that I expected or wanted it to be, that I had to be caught in a monsoon, the biggest rainstorm I have ever experienced in my entire life. I need your energy now, ladies and gentlemen. I need you to. There are a lot of children in the audience. <laughs> I thought this was going to be a little love shower, but it looks like... Looks like this is a real downpour. Nothing can keep me, keep me from you. Ain't no miles behind. I was getting all kind of messages to get off the stage, and my costume was getting soaked. And um, I had an electric mic in my hand, and the musicians were all standing in puddles of water. I knew that if I left the stage, there would have been the lights would go out, and there would have been some form of uh, panic, and I knew people would have been hurt. back the next day and do it again for them and she did and everybody came back i think we had a larger audience the next day
some incredible moments, but that was uh, that was something special. It was amazing. Television's greatest performances will be right back.